welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, we're gonna try to make a two meter wind link connection from a motel room. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Okay, so I'm hoping you guys can see right over here my little two meter uh, everyday carry kit that uh, I like to keep in the vehicle with me. Uh, this time on this particular trip, I'm actually not even in my Jeep. I'm in my wife's Jeep. So this is definitely super handy. I've been rocking the Yezu FT5DR for the entire trip uh, from Nashville down to Orlando. And now I've got this uh, radio up here in the room. We're going to be using the Raspberry Pi Zero and my cell phone to see if we can make a connection to a local Winlink gateway. Let's see if I can have any success. Okay, so the first thing I did is I do have a GPS hooked up to the Raspberry Pi so I can get my current grid square. Then, knowing the current grid square, I went ahead, it's Echo Lima 98. I went ahead and used a packet list that is stored on the Raspberry Pi and just did a search for Echo Lima 98. Now, with that information, uh, or, or with those search results, I came up with, and pardon my terrible penmanship, but I came up with four different stations that we may can possibly hit from our current location. So I'm going to go ahead now. We will uh, have to key the, each of these frequencies in manually because this does not include rig control, but I'll go ahead and key these in and then we'll try to make a uh, two meter packet connection to each of these stations. Well, We'll go through the list until we make a connection or uh, fail if we uh, can't get any of the four. Let's go ahead and give this a try. First thing I've got to do is I've got to get this MobiLink TNC2 connected up to the Raspberry Pi via, via Bluetooth. So that's going to be first thing that I need to do. So let's see if I can make that happen. Just told the Raspberry Pi to connect. And if this gets a slow flashing light, uh, flashing, slow flashing blue light, we'll know that the connection is successful. Takes it usually, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds or so. And there we go. We've now got that slow flashing blue light. So that tells me that this connection is successful over Bluetooth. So now we can just go ahead and open up Pat Winlink on the phone, uh, key in the frequency to the radio, and try to make those connections. So hopefully you can see this. I'm not real sure about that lighting there, but I do have Pat Winlink open on the iPhone. So we'll go ahead and key in the first frequency, uh, 145030. So let's see, I need to get into manual mode and then 145030. So we've got that set. So I went ahead and programmed in that first one. We're going to be using AX25, and we're going to make a call, and I have got that keyed in wrong, so we've got to fix that. It's W3HII. Now we should go ahead and try a connection, and we'll see if we get anything here. Won't be able to hear anything on the radio since we are plugged into the TNC and all of our sound is being piped into it but we'll be able to watch the uh, terminal window down here in the bottom to see if we can make a connection or it times out. And it doesn't look like I'm going to be successful with this first one because usually the first or second transmit, you would go ahead and see it uh, starting to connect and do its magic and it's just not hearing anything. And sure enough, I just got an unable to establish uh, connection to the remote message. So we'll go ahead and try the next station in our list. So let's go ahead and move this up to 770. Uh, whoop. APRs can definitely get in the way right here when it keeps uh, popping up new stations. All right, so 145770. Now I'll go ahead and key in the new um, information, the new call sign. We'll just go back into PAT. I'm going to click Action and Connect. I'm going to once again choose AX25, and then we'll do, uh, let's see, this one's November 2, Delta Bravo, hyphen 10. And why did that autocorrect like that? Into 
Delta Bravo. I think my phone is auto-correcting something here. And that is not... Okay, that is the right call sign there. So let's go ahead and hit the connect button on that one. We'll see if we have any better luck on this one. And yes, I am connected up. Don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this or not, but I am getting a connection starting to be made to this station. So we should be able to pass traffic here in just a second and check in our uh, pick up our WinLink messages if we have any. And it looks like we do have one coming in. Uh, it's going to be a test message uh, coming in from K04 uh, Bravo Charlie November, I believe that is. So we'll give this a minute. You can see the progress bar going along the top right there. And that's it. We're finished up. So guys, that's how I make a connection from a motel room traveling on the road with a kit and everything fits in this little bitty bag. I've done a video on this in the past, so you can go and check out my uh, two meter go bag or might have called it my EDC bag or everyday carry bag. But this is what I take with me when I'm on the road and I can usually get a connection with it. All right, we'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.